Hello beautiful people, today we will be creating this simple, yet awesome text like Twitch emotes in Photoshop. It will be a beginner friendly tutorial, and you don't need any Photoshop skills. Before starting, let's talk about today's sponsor, OwnPro. OwnPro is the ultimate place to get professionally made stream overlays and streaming tools to take your live streaming to the moon. No matter what your niche is, OwnPro got you covered. They have the most extensive and largest collection of a total of 600 plus premium stream overlays, packages, alerts, and more. Another thing, they also have copyright free music to choose from. So, ready to step up your live streaming career and stand out from the crowd, OwnPro may be your place to go. Use the link in the description box below and use the code EMSQ at the checkout to get 50% off when you are ready to upgrade. Back to the video. Create a new composition with 112 by 112 pixels for both width and height. Use 72 for resolution. We will resize it two times later in the video because you have to upload emotes in three different sizes. This is the highest size for emotes on Twitch. Hold Alt in Windows or Command on Mac and mouse scroll up or down to zoom in and out the canvas. Select the text tool and press anywhere on the canvas. Type your text and resize it. I am using a free font named Wicked Mouse. Now, double-click the text and layer and select the bottom text. Make it bigger, so it aligns with the bottom text. Then click the effects icon and use gradient overlay. I am using a yellow and reddish color gradient to make this text playful. After that, add a stroke. Make the stroke bigger, so it makes the text visible. For color, use a dark tone of any of your used colors. Once you are done, add an inner shadow. Follow my settings to get a subtle 3D look in your text. This part is optional. If you want, you can add noise effects to the text. Simple go to filter, then choose noise and add noise. Make sure you have chosen convert to smart object. It will give that text a very slight texture. Now, create a new layer above the text layer and press B. It will enable the brush tool. Make the hardness option around 80 to 95. 
Then hand draw some random shapes. It will give the simple text more life. But make sure you have created multiple layers for each shape you have drawn. Because when you need to move the shapes, they will stay in one single layer. To add highlights, create a new layer and choose a soft brush with white color. Use the overlay as the blending option. Draw on those parts you want to highlight. Make sure you have created a clipping mask of the highlight layer. Finally, it's exporting time. You can select all the layers and press Ctrl plus G, it will make it into one group. Then select the group folder and press Ctrl plus T. Then resize the emotes to fit the whole canvas. Make sure you have hidden the background layer. Once you are proud, navigate to File. Then export and export as. From the drop-down must use PNG and check the transparency. It will make your emotes transparent on your Twitch stream. At last, hit Export. It's time to export the alerts into the remaining two sizes. Click the gray area of the canvas. Then in the properties panel, type 56 by 56 for width and height. Then select the folder and press Ctrl plus T to enable the transform tool. Resize it as per your liking. Do the same thing to export. The size export size will be changed to your canvas size automatically. Also, a tip will be, name your emotes correctly and add the dimension at the beginning of the name. It will make save your tie when you upload on Twitch. I will do the last size, which is 28 by 28. I will do it in time lapse, but the process is the same. You can barely see the text, but you will be able to see that on mobile devices. What happens if you want to change the text, font, or colors? Simple double-click the Smart Object icon in the text layer. It will open a new window. From there, you can do all the text settings. But you must press Ctrl plus S to save it. Then come back to the original canvas, and you will see the changes. As you can see, as I have not drawn the design in separate layers, I can't move them individually. Now, I will finish the remaining text to make a complete set. Please let me know if you are a Twitch affiliate and how long it took to reach you. I would love to see your experiences. I hope this small and easy to follow Twitch emote in Photoshop tutorial was helpful. Watch my other stream graphics tutorial video by clicking the thumbnails here. Oh, by the way, a sub will be highly appreciated. It also costs nothing, not like Twitch subscriptions. Peace.